Yeah, I know you want me to do tech news, but if I do that, then you've won. Gah, I can't say no to that face. Oh, Look at them. They're so cute. Little chonker. <laughs> Facebook has undergone scandal after scandal the past couple years, but this week, the company may face its largest reckoning ever thanks to the Facebook Papers, a trove of leaked external documents that expand on and add to the issues brought up by the now infamous whistleblower and certified badass, Frances Haugen. She's so infamous I still don't know how to say her name though. Den Haugen. Den Haugen? The papers describe Facebook suppressing an internal integrity team trying to limit the spread of harmful content on the platform. There's a story about Facebook failing to remove human trafficking groups after a BBC investigation and only succeeding after Apple threatened to ban them from the App Store. And there's much more we don't have time to cover. But Facebook's troubles don't end there because an antitrust lawsuit filed against Google last year has been fully unredacted, revealing claims that Google Google and Facebook colluded to manipulate the online advertising market, surprise, surprise, assuring their dominance over other ad bidding platforms. What are Coke and Pepsi doing? Hey, what about the small pops? Well, they don't call them pops. Sodas. We're Canadian, Mom sorry. Mom and pop, pop shop. <laughs> so if you weren't looking forward to spending time with your family over the holidays, at least there will probably be some juicy testimonies before Congress to watch. <laughs> Politics. C-SPAN gets me going! In other leak-focused news that is significantly less scandalous, videos depicting what looked like the rumored Oculus Pro headset have been posted on Reddit. Oh, Zuck's back. <laughs> Zuck never went away. The videos look similar to the introductory ones shown when firing up a standalone Quest headset for the first time, and the headset itself in the videos looks a lot like a prototype that Facebook VP of VR, Andrew Bosworth, we call him Boz, uh, Boz showed off on Twitter recently. Like the Quest, it looks like this headset operates wirelessly and without requiring a connection to a PC, with a dock nearby for charging the strapless controllers. Yeah. Sounds sexy. Live on the dangerous side. You know? <laughs> Ooh. You throw it at any time. <laughs> If it's, for, it's for pros, they're not gonna be flailing their arms around like fools. If these leaks are legit, Facebook could give us a look at the Oculus Pro on October 28th during their Oculus Connect conference, and that just reminded me that Facebook owns Oculus. Damn it! This is dumb news, I don't wanna see this headset. Ah! Tesla has been testing out a beta version of its full self-driving feature, but as you may have already worked out, putting beta and self-driving into the same sentence is kind of uncomfortable because only alphas drive cars. Elon Musk has admitted that the beta software has some issues resulting in it being pulled. Specifically, uh, it's having problems with left turns. Very Zoolander-esque <laughs> problem there. While some users have said that they're getting false collision warnings. Although it's obviously good that these issues are being spotted in beta as opposed to a final release, I have to wonder about releasing a beta publicly to people who are, you know, actually driving. In school zone. The kids know! Think of the children! Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Manscaped, provider of all-in-one grooming tools that have you covered from head to toe. But most of the balls. Most especially the beds. The Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 kit is designed to make grooming below the waist easy with the Lawnmower 4.0 and other goodies like the Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver sprays to keep things fresh. It's just the imagery that comes to my mind. Balls, balls. So head to manscaped.com slash tech and get 20% off Manscaped and free shipping today. Quick bits. Did you forget about them? Ah, okay, let's go, let's do it. Leaked benchmarks make it look like Intel's 12th gen Alder Lake processors are going to arrive real soon with some banging performance. <coughs> ah, it never let me on TikTok. A CPU-Z benchmark was spotted showing the Core i5-12600K beating a Ryzen 5 5600X by nearly 50% in a multi-threaded test. Boom! Oh. Something that Ryzen's usually be better at. Not anymore. That's even more exciting thanks to the 12600K having four lower powered efficiency cores, which you'd think would drag it down. But don't judge a core by its efficiency designation. I've met some pretty powerful small cores and they're really nice too. Big PP core. You ever been in a small core neighborhood? <laughs> Intel's fight with AMD may be going strong, but Team Blue and Red do agree on one thing. Team Purple! <laughs> They're merging. Both company CEOs have predicted that the current chip shortage will last all through next year and finally let up in 2023. The news comes as Intel's latest earnings reports show poor laptop sales that were caused by, you guessed it, the aforementioned chip shortage. And not AMD laptops being really good. That couldn't... I can pass with. There's no way. 
Xbox players looking for more storage will have a new expansion option come December, a two terabyte drive that costs more than an Xbox Series S. Or at least that used to be true. Uh, the NVMe drive will go for $400 supposedly, which is even more egregious considering you can get a non-Xbox specific one for around 250 bucks. You know, the kind the PS5 would support. Bam! Yeah, console, right, kiss, keep it alive, the console war! In other Xbox news, a new update will give you a dashboard that renders natively in 4K, a proper night mode and streamlined quick settings. Mm. But more importantly, Nvidia just added GeForce Now support to the Edge browser. Just now? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> and that runs on Xbox, meaning you can stream Steam games from the cloud on your Xbox. What even is an Xbox now? Or Xbox later. See ya. And if you don't have enough RGB, Razer has a smart face mask to sell you. That's right, it's crazy Zephyr mask from earlier in the year. Comes with a dual fan N95 filter system and an app to customize your look. Because nothing says, I'm taking the pandemic seriously, like a light show on your face. I mean, I don't know. Hey, I'm not trying to get laid. I'm trying to social distance. <laughs> this tells the world that. <laughs> Step away, potential partners. Stay away. <laughs> you do not want to. Die. Message received. The mask sans filter kits will set you back a hundred bucks. Can you really put a price on safety? I can put a price on continuing this video cause it's too damn high. So come back on Wednesday for more tech news. The tech news of Tron has to recharge. We've been trying to get it fixed for so long. You can't just pump it out every day, James.